Uh, black people offended with everything. Everything, but what the fuck Except they going through? Except the condition through. that they live in. He just took the words out of my mouth. Exactly. Everything like, uh, offends black people. Every fucking the thing. Reality. And and every fucking that thing. They live in. Every fucking thing. Besides, they how the, the fuck they going through? And exactly. They know their conditions. Facts. Only to be offended by everything. Uh, what else. somebody but fucking say or do. Neighborhoods. What it is, two time game. Y'all already know what it is. Dirt face nigga, dirt face two time in this bitch. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and become part of Two Time Family. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Take us up on the algorithm. We're a family. If I go up, we all go up. If you're returning, I fuck with you. I love you. Thank you. It's the same energy reciprocated. Today, we got on the big screen. This is how Charleston White would go down as one of the greatest black history ever. Historians ever. Because he speak real facts. So, let's just get into one of these 10-minute clip videos. And shout out to Sit Cheese for it. But we think we do. You just hit you just hit it on the head. Um, Bronny James. It was a big debate about that. Nepotism and getting it out the mud. A lot of people, majority of black people, we value getting it out of the mud Touch instead it. of somebody in our family helping us. Um, which happens all over you Shit, know, nigga be America, nice if it sports, Me and my family come grab me Fuck you talking about gigs. Fuck getting out of money We see man. it everywhere Shit um, it. Us Fun. as black people We tend to value Getting it from the bottom Getting it out of the struggle No help at all He right though uh, Because, and because shit black lame. people Pride themselves in saying Did nobody help me Let's I did this, this on my own soul. That's nothing to be proud of Facts My mother helped me My mama and my dad helped me who helped me My girl helped me Friends, um, fast. We as black people pride ourselves on, on, on that for, for whatever reason. I, I don't know. Uh, but everybody needs a helping hand. Mm. Uh, facts. When, when I work with when I when I work with children in, in the juvenile system, they need help, I bitch. And these black kids here and say, say, nigga, don't let them white people lack of blackness stop them from helping you, nigga. Mm. You got a white volunteer that's willing to show up and volunteer to come see you and talk. Nigga, don't fold your arms and act like they can't understand. Yeah. If nothing else, nigga, this white man can understand what it's like to be a boy. And I feel like he's saying that because black people tend to go in the shell when we get around white people. Oh, we look at him like he can't relate to me. He don't know what the fuck. I, he don't know what I've been through. He oh uppity, got money. I ain't got shit to say to them. You know what I'm saying? For our, like big brother volunteer people that actually come in and take time out of the day to try to make sure you know what I'm saying they try to help you change your life around. You got those type of certain black men and and women, female and male girls and boys who sit there and act like you know um what you gonna call it? Fuck them because they not black. They can't have a black a black conversation with you type shit. He know what it's like to be a boy. So, black people pride themselves, homie, in, 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 in saying, uh, I come from this and made it to this. Right. And, and they'll try to shame you if you say, well, you, you had a silver spoon handed to you. Well, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, white people do it all the time. That's uh, why they so fucking successful. I'm supposed to be given an, an edge, an advantage because of what my parents, parents did. did. Uh, I'm sorry your parents didn't do that. So, we resent one another for that. So... I, I challenge people and ask them uh, how you get your job because as far back as I can remember uh, when I was being taught things some of the first lessons and things that I was taught in life is nigga it ain't what you know it's, it's who, who you know. know it ain't what you know it's who you know because you can be the smartest motherfucker in the world you can have every fucking thing at the tip of your hands but if you don't know that person that can actually make that shit go through uh, the person because it's always somebody above you in every situation who can potentially fuck you up if you don't know them and you don't know how they move and you're trying to do something they can fuck you up but if you know them you can talk to them like hey i'm finna ready to do this so you know it ain't about what you know it's about who you know for i'm learning so that it's good to know so some much things, but it also know it's also good and important to know some people mm -hmm. right that's where networking come from Facts. that's where joining the fraternities that's where going to college and and, and getting in these different groups and social groups because some of these people are going to be successful in life. Y'all hate uh, Charles White, so, but that nigga be I mean, speaking fast. Fuck you talking about. And, and, and nepotism is not a bad thing. It's not because white people do it all the fucking time. Ronnie James going to the NBA. He only averaged four points a game in college. Oh, yeah. I know he's um, going to bring that shit up. He got a guaranteed contract for $7 million as a rookie, which it's is not crazy. heard of. $7 million as a rookie. You don't think that's taking food out of somebody else's plate? He didn't earn it. 
Well, well, when you say taking food out of somebody else's plate. Somebody else could have got picked at I that disagree. 50 but, 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 spot. But, but, it was, it was more people. It was way this better. It's my money. Whoever got the, whoever gave them the seven million, it's not in they plate. It's in my pocket. True. How am I taking it out of his plate when this my money? And this because boy, basically what he's saying is, Charles, and I get what you're saying. Basically, he's saying you got more qualified people who had higher rebounds, higher points per, per game, per season type shit. And basically, they deserve the opportunity because LeBron, Bronny dad has money. So even if he didn't make the NBA, he would have been straight. You got some of those people who don't have those resources. And it, it and it's not their fault. You can't blame everybody. Who the fuck don't have no no everybody to do this? Uh, people parents because you can't you cannot make people the, the kids suffer uh feel bad for what their parents did not do or did not know and did not secure for them. That's why they're trying to do it for themselves. But Bronny being trash and not being fire, and you got people who was way better than him. But because LeBron was his dad and who he knows. He got drafted as his 55 pick for and for seven million as a rookie. Brown already had LeBron already had seven million. So if that's the case, he could have gave his son seven million and let his son do something else. And that seven million that somebody else who really needed to get their people out of the projects could have used that shit by the person getting drafted. But now that's been taken off their plate. Facts, it's in his pockets and on his plate because the people didn't get it. It's on Brown LeBron's Le plate. But what uh, Sean is saying is. It was taken away from somebody who actually really needed this shit. Because she Bronny was gonna be alright. His fucking daddy is LeBron. His daddy got money, money, nigga. He's not hurting for shit. Daddy worked for me. Cause this there's another there's another kid who earned it. Better stats in college. Oh, uh, you if, couldn't mm. uh, you, you couldn't have earned it. How you earned it and you ain't get it. If you earned it, you would have got it. Mm. Because got LeBron James shit. is somebody's dad. And got him in somebody else's position. But Sean so, speaking man, facts. Philly dog gets y'all job up at GameStop. Yeah. Didn't he get yeah. you and your partner some game to GameStop? <laughs> yeah. Shit, hell with them other niggas who daddy hang up at GameStop can't get them no job, nigga. Shout yeah, out to Philly true. dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, you got my, a point though. I'm saying you got they got they got valid points. One plug in that but I you got to look at it from both this angles. This bad boy. It's called the God particle. The only thing that you. I feel like Charleston uh, trying to punish can, them. That's a, that's punish a people crazy, that's a great analogy. My dad, uh, when I graduated shit. high school, he got me and all my homies jobs at the GameStop warehouse. Mm. Yeah. So, homie, we didn't, so, it, it, so we didn't it, earn it, we didn't earn it. Oh, uh, uh, but did y'all appreciate it? Oh, of course. Did y'all, did y'all, did it enhance some of y'all life? Yeah, definitely. That helped me get to another job to get to another job. To so, get to so, so job. how, so how he wrong, homie? We didn't say he was wrong. wrong. That other kid don't know nobody who can give him an opportunity. But that's not but his, his mama fault, though. Him a job at the hospital. But that's not his fault. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's not the other kid's fault, Charleston. I get what you're saying. Like you're saying some real shit, but you can't punish and fault them for what their parents not able to do, nigga. Everybody parents not able to do that shit. How? How? Because his mama don't know no. How they wrong? Is it fair? Or no. But life ain't fair, young people. It ain't. Mm. You're right. Homie, sometimes you can work hard and not go nowhere in life. Some sometimes you can do everything right, work hard, follow all the rules, do everything, and to. still and not still be get fucking tipped. stuck. That's a lot of people. That's life why a lot of people fair. break the fucking rules. Mm -hmm. That's why people scam do all this shit because shit life doing shit the right way don't get you nowhere. Life ain't even if he for averaged real. four points a game. Though. Four points a fucking oh. game in college. Trash. That's unheard of. That's trash. Oh. Master P skipped the league and went into the NBA. He didn't go to college. That's not the right. same. Master P skipped. Master P was a whole motherfucking rapper before. We... Master P had connections. Like you said, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Bronny Daddy is in the NBA. So, of course. But if it was really that like that, he would have he would not have been a 55th pick. He was chosen because his daddy paid some fucking body to get him up in there. His daddy chose to stay to do more. Life ain't fucking fair, like you said. So, Charleston, you can't sit there and fault people for missing out on opportunities because somebody is richer, got in the other rich people ear, and made some shit shape. That shit is lame, and you can't be sitting up doing that. But you speaking facts. Life ain't fair. Damn, you saying some real shit, though. It's about who you know. Shit, if your motherfucking mom and daddy can do something for you, 
Make sure they do it. And take pride in that shit, y'all. Getting it out the mud ain't fun. Because when you get it out the mud, you got to constantly figure out how, how you going to get it out the mud. And sometimes that mud be hard. It be stuck. Sometimes that mud turn into quicksand. Shit, man. You can't stand up in that mud all the time. Slip, bust your head. But shit, when motherfuckers got solid ground, able to motherfuckers stand on. Take pride in that. That's what white people do. White people take pride in that shit, man. They take pride in passing that wealth, uh, family wealth down, generational wealth. Black people, the only people motherfucker be, I got it out the mud, nigga. You ain't get it out the mud. Your people gave it to you. So the fuck what? As a whole community, black people fucked up individuals. The white people, the white people was our fucking oppressor. These crackers are oppressors. And they don't take pride in getting that shit out the mud. They hate it. It makes them feel like us. Because we take pride in shit like that. Man. Keep going, Charles. Oh. It's all about who you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jake Paul or Paul Logan, he fighting Paul boxers Logan, and MMA yeah, yeah. players, homie. They ain't fought nobody to do this. Life ain't fair. Social Life media. Life ain't fair. That's all I can say. But you got to deal with it. Hmm. Still but deal with it in your own it. way, though. So your own life. Do I think Bronny take it how you take in the it. league? Hell, Hell nah. nah. Fuck that no. Good. That boy trash. He ain't even that good to be playing overseas against them overseas mm, players. Exactly. Bronny need to be a, a, a high school assistant basketball coach, coach or a PE teacher Bats. somewhere. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Now y'all get what I'm saying. Him even just being an assistant coach and shit like that, he could make money. His daddy is rich. And he can go for nothing. He can go over to the season made money. His daddy rich. He not hurt with money. But he took money out somebody motherfucker played. So you, okay, so you just say he ain't good enough to to play in the league, Charleston. Now you contradicting yourself. He took money out somebody else's pocket. And and possibly took it out somebody else's plate. He ain't that good to go in the league. He averaged four points a fucking game in college. His daddy already in the NBA, so that guaranteed him a spot. What did LeBron do for this shit? Come on now. Nah, man. Uh, did you watch the? Uh, did you watch the debate between Trump and um and Biden? Yeah, I watched. And Trump mentioned black jobs. Mm. What's a yeah. black job? Uh, what's a black job? Frying chicken cooks. Yeah, he was pretty much saying that Spinner, immigrants are coming over from Mexico. Truck driving. I'm for, see, construction used to be yeah, black job. Used to be construction first. The construction job, the, the, the Mexican that you that see laying now. the concrete, doing the tar, riding the machine, them used to be black jobs. Yep. Then they start letting the illegal immigrants come over, they start taking the job. That's why you don't see number Mexicans now. Exactly. What's another what's another black job? The cashier, the nigga that's cooking the fries at McDonald's, fine, the burger, fine, fine. The nigga at Burger King, yep. uh, and the drive through window. Yep. Them all used to be black jobs. Now, who you see now? Illegal Mexican, immigrants, whether Mexican, it's Mexicans or what? Mexican. Uh, what's another they black ride, job? Muslims. Uh, detailing Marines, cars. Marines, all type of shit. Yup. Uh, what's another black job? Cutting grass, Standing lawnmower. Standing on the corner begging. <laughs> like you've seen all the immigrants, but except Lawn the immigrants, service. they got a new game. They standing on there with flowers. Uh, uh, roses. The nigga just standing on there with a rag wanting to wipe your windows. That's a black job. Uh, what's another black job? Working at the grocery store. All them were black job. If nothing else, nigga, me and you could get them jobs during the summertime yep. as teenagers That's and kids. Teenage, yep. Now you got the adult grown Ill- illegal immigrants making Working on motherfuckers. $9, $10 an hour. When that used to be the summer job for the black kids. So, yeah, homie, it, it's, it's a such thing as black jobs. Selling dope. I yeah, told stealing, you I was feeling dope. Skinning. Uh, stripping. Mm-hmm. Rapping. Mm-hmm. DJing. So, yeah, y'all them black but, jobs. But, but why selling dope and stealing, though? Everybody st- everybody does that, though. Why they got to be under black job? Uh, Because I know black people do it for a living. Even <laughs> if they ain't winning out. They just go steal, just get up. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, would take, I would say selling dope is just particularly a black job. Because, nigga, you got to think about it. These cartels and mafias and shit, they're bigger They're bigger than black people. They, The government had a hand in that. So I wouldn't just say that shit was black. It started with the white people selling this shit and put it over to us. So I would not say selling dope is a black, a black job. 
them. They can be stealing. I know people Fuck who yeah. steal, sell drugs, uh, rob, and can make more if they got up work and got to go go got went and got a white man's job. What's a white man's job? Uh, corporate America. Uh, anything anything that requires you to wake up in the morning mm. and leave out your house. I know a lot of black people that that, 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 that don't that make sense. American jobs. Them white people jobs. But why? Why, why can't they be black people jobs? They're not black. They're All not. the low level paying yeah. jobs and black, black people, people jobs. Because mm. you don't see black people getting no job predominantly. Mm. And that's true though. He's speaking facts. Minimum yeah, wage. Yeah, people were offended with that as well. Black uh, people were offended with black jobs as well. Uh, Black people offended with, with everything. everything. But what the fuck Except they going through. Except the condition through. that they live in. He just took the words out of my mouth. Exactly. Everything right. offends black people. Every fucking thing. The reality. It, it, every fucking thing. Every fucking thing. Besides they how the, the fuck they going through. They exactly. They conditions. Facts. Only to be offended by everything uh, What else. somebody look, fucking say or do. Look at their dude. neighborhoods. Look at their houses. Look at their family life. What? Look at the conditions of them, their children, and, and the, the, the parents of the children. Nail on a they fucking head. They lie to each other. They hate each other. They fight with one another. But everything is offensive. But they don't change nothing. Nope. Just have Even attitudes all the fucking time. They don't change nothing. And keep doing the same shit. Don't care about so, their situation homie, for real. Nobody. Damn that nigga speak fat. This is why that nigga going on in history. Matter right. on social media. But in real life and in the real world, nobody really pays us any attention anymore because we've been crying wolf too long. Too fucking mm. long. All right, so y'all, y'all know how that was, man. That's all I had to watch for that motherfucking Increase video. Increase your profit and Shut work. Shut the fuck up. I'm talking. Bitch, don't play with me. Don't get cussed out. All right, so y'all, y'all know how this shit go, man. Charles and White going on in history for waking y'all up, waking us up as a black community. Y'all might hate him, but he speak the truth. Jesus was hated for telling the truth. Jesus was hated. And Jesus is not a real name, okay? But I'm just using it as a fucking example, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, Charleston has a point, y'all. Question, thoughts, comments, concerns, drop them in the box below. Hit the like button to get me on that algorithm. Subscribe if you're not. Y'all already know what it is. Dirtfit nigga, dirtfit two time. I'll eat.